Hi, it's Milvona. We are in Copperleaf today showing you this modern country house. Come, I show you what it has to offer. We've got double garages on both sides. We've got about three living areas, um, a lovely kitchen, a study, and a beautiful outdoor space. This is an entertainer's home. I'll tell you the owner says um, when she first walked into this house eight years ago, what she loved was the entertainment area. Up behind there, it's divine. Come and show you. This is the entrance hall, double high volumes with a floating staircase that goes to the pajama lounge and the other three bedrooms out there. Very spacious reception area. They have uh, uh, put these two chairs, but you can actually work with it and do a lot with this space. I can put a bigger couch if it were me, but this is her style for now. You can actually change it. It has a lot uh, to offer. You've got nice uh, chandelier lights up there. So this is an open house, uh, Brandon. So what we're going to do is I think let's start on the left side. We show them the kitchen before we go on the other side. We are in the kitchen. They've got a nice uh, kiat wood here. I asked her, doesn't this scratch? She said, obviously it can scratch, but it's a working surface. She's been working on this for eight years. And trust me, when you come and see it, it still looks just as new. And here you've got uh, your prayer bowl. You've got uh, a small um, tap there for your filter water. You can actually filter your water, then you don't need uh, to buy water. Then here you have your five uh, plate gas cooker and an electric stove um, uh, with your extractor there. On my right is a walk-in pantry. I won't open it. It's very spacious and it's got like drawers inside that they've built, but we won't open it for private uh, purposes. Your island breakfast nook can actually sit a lot of chairs here. They've only put three, but I think it can fit about five or even more if you put on the side, which makes it very cool for your breakfast. Here you have a space for your fridge. I think this is a freezer because you've got another space there. And there also, uh, Brendan, you can just show them, it's an extra room which she uses for her other fridges, but you can actually use it for whatever you want. This is like a multi-purpose kitchen. And there we have your scullery. The, what I like about this scullery is it has five machine spaces. That window opens up to the bright area. Like I said, this is an entertainer's home. You'll see what I mean. And then here, this is your ironing space. She told us she's got this cool feature here that she just hangs her clothes when she irons, which I haven't seen in most homes. I don't know if I've actually seen it before, but she put this here. I thought it's cool. I must show you in all the machine spaces. The space also here for the double door fridge. This is your dining space. Also opening up to the entertainment area that will show you just in a second from now. And this is your inbuilt she says she saves from here, so it's an inbuilt saver. You can use it as an inbuilt saver, or if you are a person that um, is high at entertaining, you can actually turn this into a bar because it's just right next to the bride stand outside. It opens up to the living area, or areas, should I say, because here they've made another small reception area that you can just sit and chill. And then on my left side is your um, TV room with uh, inbuilt shelves and inbuilt TV. Then on my left there is the fireplace. You have a surround system. Um, the whole down stairs actually has a surround system. So when you're playing music in the whole house, you, nobody's left out. So I think that is very cool. Here is your wine cellar. You can just show them, Brendan, and your shelves for whatever collection. If you're a whiskey person, brandy, wine, anything. But I think that's a very cool uh, feature that they have in this house. 
Then I love the axe, exposing the face brick, just giving it that country feel. On my right here is the guest bathroom. Also very nice and cozy. And then this side, it has, this door actually goes out to a small courtyard, but we'll show you later. And then here you have, this door goes to the office. We'll show you in a moment. Then this side is where you have your guest bathroom. It has a full bathroom, the shower and the bath. Then the guest bedroom is actually a granny flat, if I was to say, because it is separated from the house in the sense that it's rightly tucked away in the corner and it has this door that goes outside. So it's more like it has its own entrance. So when they were buying it, that's what they had in mind to say, if they're leaving someone elderly, then the person can just live here. And if they want to have some sun outside, they just go out from here. So we are out in my favorite space. Like I said, um, the owner actually makes this furniture herself. So if you love the furniture, ask me, then I'll give you their number. They put small bombers here that they use for a fireplace in winter. Also, they told me they also use them as a braai. They have their spot for choice. They can use this as a, as a braai. They have um, a gas braai there. They also have an inbuilt braai. So I asked them to say, are you taking all these? If we sell the house, they said, if the person that is buying likes them, we can talk. So about all this, talk to me, then I will talk to them for you. This side, so you see it opens up. This is what I was talking about. So this is what they loved when they built this house. The house opens up to the outside. It's really an entertainer's home. Here they, they put the couch. So you actually have a living, another living area outside, which is very cool. Another dining, uh, dining area outside next to the window here in this gallery. So when you're cooking, you can actually just bring the food here and have dinner outside on your summer days. Or if you're entertaining and you're cooking from inside, very easy to bring the food outside. You have, they've done it nicely here with uh, granite tops and you have a prep bowl just next to the built-in braai, which is very uh, nice and fancy. Here you have your fridge, the fridge also, um, you can talk to me, it can come with, and if you want, like I said, if you're a person that um, loves to have a bar, if you don't want to put the bar inside, you can actually build a bar here because it already has a fridge for you. So I love this outdoor space. I believe it is, it gives you, if you want, you, when you sit here, Trust me, the way we are feeling here, Brendan can attest, we feel very serene, like you are just cut away from this, from the world. You just feel like you are in your own world. We've got a sparkling nice pool here and uh, nice big garden space, which I love, right opposite the seven, 17th hall and 18th hall here. Wow. This is what I wanted you to see. We're now on the upper level of the house and what I like is the consistency that is in this house to give it that country feel. You can see the, this um, finishing on the rails here is wooden. The staircase is wooden and the wooden flooring that flows in the pajama lounge to give you that warmth on the winter days when you are winding up your day. A very nice deco you can change it to what you want but i think this is cool and i can talk to her for you to leave it like that here you have your storage what i like is that when you let's say you have little children and after playing in the evening you can just store your toys 
in this room. For now, she's using it as a linen cupboard. You can see she's very passionate about her pillows. We'll start with this bedroom on my left. I love the dark wood. Cupboard is made of nice dark wood. The bedroom is spacious. This bed, you can see it's also a king size and it leaves a lot of space. They've actually put an Ottoman day uh, more than um, it's actually bigger than your normal Ottoman and then also they have another storage space in here I can actually open it because there isn't much so they just put their bags you can use it for whatever you like and it also opens up to the balcony so this bedroom you have views as well to the spectacular views that you have there to the dam listening to the bed singing and the water splashing in the fountains in the dam so which is actually cool you don't miss out on anything even when you live in the spare bedroom the bathroom is a full bathroom with a tub and a shower the towels also made of a special stone that gives it still that country feel it when you look at it it actually doesn't look at like, like a towel when you see it face to face so come and see because the tv won't show you everything this is another bedroom upstairs here i did mention earlier that it's three bedrooms upstairs you have your bathroom there it only comes with a shower also with uh, the stone throughout and a nice big mirror there this bedroom is also spacious with nice light uh, pendants that side you can move your bed and put it that side and not where they put the bed if you like whatever you like can work here i'm sure they wanted to be next to the window to enjoy the spectacular views of the estate which is the Mahalis mountain there the magnificent Mahalis mountain and just the nature that you see there's a door here brendan please come and show them there's a door here that also opens up to the balcony to meet the other bedrooms so you can actually just sit and chat there while you wait for time to go to bed come and show you the main bedroom which i love it is very spacious you can see the bed is super king very big and the room is actually spacious they've even managed to make themselves a small living area with a beautiful coffee table there and a nice candle that is just bringing a beautiful scent to this room i love the pendant lights that they put on top of their beds which are actually very cozy and also the fact that it has a walk-in closet brendan please just show them the walk-in closet it's very spacious and here behind you will actually see that we have i'm not going to open so that you see what's inside but these mirrors actually open up and there's extra storage there so you can put your handbags that you don't want to display or your shoes that you're tired of you can actually put there the bathroom is to die for so spacious that she even has space to put a flower pot now that we don't see usually the toilet is separate very private and here also we have another linen cupboard and here we have two things for both partners they are all actually all the same no this one looks a little bit, bit bigger than this one but basically the same we don't actually see that in most of the houses they just put them in one side but this actually shows you that they didn't um they, they built this house for themselves to enjoy the space it's very spacious for you to experience the spa at home you actually have these two benches it's a two bench shower that we actually still don't get to see every day. It's not your normal shower. You can see the, the towels starting from the bathroom coming into here, it's stone. So that country feel continues everywhere.
outside shower or when it gets very hot sometimes in the night here in south africa you can want to take a shower outside you are going to ask me to say Luvona, what about the neighbors don't worry there's actually no one this side opposite is the dam you can actually I don't know if you can hear them, the, the sounds of the waters there because there's a fountain in the dam, which is actually very cool and a beautiful, spectacular views from this balcony as well. And the neighbor on this side is actually on a panhandle. So they are not directly linked to this house. No one is going to see if you want to take a shower outside, but I just love the fact that you can just sit here listen to the birds singing listen to the fountain in the in the dam just across and just looking at this nature so if you like the house give us a call and we'll definitely be on the ball for you we'll bring you for viewing and thank you so much for watching us like and share subscribe until we meet again bye bye